Welcome, fellow Americans. Today, we'll confront the terrifying possibility of enemy attacks on U.S. soil. Whether you're in a crowded city or a quiet town, you can't ignore the warning signs. Prepare now. Your life may depend on it. In the midst of utter chaos, the police forces, overwhelmed and drained of resources, are unable to respond to the escalating wave of crime and violence. Violent crimes such as assaults and home invasions become frighteningly common, transforming once safe neighborhoods into war zones. Your safety, once guaranteed by the men in blue, is now uncertain. The very fabric of society which relies on law enforcement is unraveling before our eyes. This is why self-defense is not just important, it's absolutely essential. Relying solely on martial arts in such perilous times can be foolhardy when you are up against armed assailants. Firearms, specifically, offer a crucial means of protection. I strongly recommend a 12-gauge shotgun for those inexperienced with guns. Its ease of use, affordability of ammunition, and the intimidating sound of chambering around make it an extremely effective deterrent and defensive tool. According to the FBI, during major crises, emergency response times can increase by 200%, leaving people vulnerable for those critical moments that can mean the difference between life and death. Home invasions surge dramatically when law enforcement breaks down. Imagine the fear of knowing that if an intruder enters your home, there's no one to call, no help on the way. In these dire times, your best chance of staying safe is by taking proactive measures now. Stock up on advanced medical supplies, as hospitals will likely be overwhelmed and unable to provide timely care. Learn self-defense techniques, not just for physical protection, but to cultivate a mindset of readiness and alertness. And most importantly, consider arming yourself responsibly. The National Institute of Justice reports that during crises, having a firearm at home significantly reduces the likelihood of a successful home invasion. Often, the mere sound of a shotgun being chambered can scare off intruders. But this isn't just about deterring criminals, it's about ensuring you can protect your loved ones. Imagine the peace of mind knowing that in a worst-case scenario, you can defend your home. We live in unpredictable times. Natural disasters, social unrest, economic collapse, any of these things can cause our societal structure to fail. A study by the American Psychological Association shows that the stress and fear from these crises can double the incidence of anxiety and depression, further straining our fragile social order. Imagine a scenario where society is falling apart. The thin layer of normalcy is gone, replaced by chaos. In this nightmare, medical services we rely on become a distant memory. Ambulances can't keep up and hospitals are overrun with desperate people. Medical staff are pushed to their limits, unable to manage the flood of emergencies. During catastrophic events, emergency calls naturally increase, leading to delays and tragic consequences. Your chances of getting timely medical help drop to almost zero. This makes a basic first aid kit laughably inadequate. Band-aids and gauze might help with minor scrapes, but what about severe injuries or infections? You need advanced medical supplies. Tourniquets, sutures, splints, antibiotics, and more. You must be ready to handle critical situations, because when the world falls apart, you and your loved ones might be all you have. Now let's face it, when the lights go out and the grid goes down, it's not just your TV that goes dark. Imagine the feeling of being completely cut off from the world. No news, no way to call for help, just silence. It can be terrifying. But here's the good news. There are ways to prepare. Get your hands on the mighty crank radio. This little lifesaver is a must-have. I recommend the American Reserves model. It has fantastic sound quality and tons of features, keeping you informed even without electricity. Cranking can get tiring, though, and solar power isn't always reliable. That's where a solar generator comes in. A solar generator provides a sustainable way to keep your crank radio and other essentials powered up, ensuring you stay informed and connected no matter what. Similarly, ham radios might seem like gadgets for hobbyists, but they're true lifesavers in emergencies. They work like scanners, picking up news, emergency services, and more. Plus, imagine getting separated from your family. A pair of ham radios lets you stay in touch, coordinating your actions when every second counts. Remember, communication isn't just about staying informed. It's about staying connected to the people you love. 
They're your support system. And in a disaster, that connection can be the difference between life and death. Now let's talk about something not so glamorous, sanitation. We often take things like garbage collection for granted, but when disaster strikes, those weekly visits stop. Picture mountains of rotting trash in your backyard, a breeding ground for disease. That half-eaten can of chili? It becomes a biohazard, releasing harmful gases and attracting pests. A study by the National Institute of Health found that improper waste disposal can increase the spread of diseases like cholera by a whopping 70%. And let's not forget the smell. You won't have the luxury of using precious water to wash things out. Throwing trash in a bag and leaving it is a recipe for disaster. Let's talk about what you can do. If you have the space, burying your trash is an option. However, improper burial can contaminate groundwater, making things worse. Normally, sewage magically disappears down the drain. But without power, those treatment facilities can't function. The result? Sewage could back up into your home, creating a literal health hazard. We're talking diseases like hepatitis and E. coli. But there's a secret weapon for this, a sewage plug. This handy device, initiated with water or air, blocks sewage from backing up into your house. It's a simple way to prevent a flood of toxic waste from turning your home into a disaster zone. Don't wait until it's too late. Equip your home with this life-saving tool. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention warns that exposure to raw sewage can lead to severe health problems. It's serious stuff, and with a little preparation, it's completely avoidable. Let's talk about power outages. Most of us have experienced them. A flicker of the lights, then darkness. Annoying for sure. But what if that darkness lasted for weeks, months, even years? Our power grid is complex and essential, but let's be honest, it's not perfect. Even minor disruptions can cause widespread blackouts. Now imagine a major crisis hitting that grid, a cyber attack, a natural disaster, and suddenly the lights are out for good. Think about your freezer. It's a lifesaver keeping food safe for months. But with no power, that frozen bounty starts to spoil within hours. According to the USDA, a full freezer holds its temperature for about 48 hours unopened. After that, it's unsafe to eat. Losing your lights is one thing, losing your food supply is a whole different level of disaster. Now picture yourself in the dead of winter. No power means no electric heat. Your home quickly becomes a fridge, and hypothermia becomes a real threat. The National Weather Service warns that hypothermia can happen at temperatures as mild as 50 degrees Fahrenheit if you're exposed for long periods. A wood stove might seem like a solution, but it's only half the answer. You need a fan to circulate that heat. And guess what runs that fan? Electricity. This is where solar generators come in. Devices like the Blue Eads or Mango Series can provide essential power to keep a light on at night or a fan running to keep you warm in the winter or cool in the summer. These aren't just conveniences, they're lifesavers. A study by the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory even highlights how solar-powered backup systems can significantly reduce the risk of heat stroke during extreme weather events. We humans have survived without electricity for millennia. However, our modern world relies on it for everything. Now imagine that reliance being ripped away. The results would be catastrophic. We're not just talking about minor inconveniences, we're talking about a societal meltdown of epic proportions. Millions of people, desperate and hungry, could lose their sense of humanity. The veneer of order and civility would vanish, replaced by primal fear and a struggle for survival. Streets would become war zones, neighbors turning against neighbors. The crime rate would skyrocket in the US alone. Murder and assault would become terrifyingly common. The peace we take for granted would shatter, leaving behind a lawless and brutal landscape. So, what can you do to survive such a scenario? It's not about sensationalizing, it's about facing reality. Firstly, consider self-defense training. Krav Maga Global, KMG, is a great option. It's more than just fighting, it's about conditioning your body and mind to react instinctively in dangerous situations. Imagine a scenario where you're confronted. The right training could save your life. The Second Amendment guarantees the right to bear arms. 
In a situation where society collapses, a firearm could be your ultimate lifeline. But owning a weapon isn't enough. You need to be proficient with it. Regular training is crucial. Familiarize yourself with the mechanics of your firearm. Practice handling it until it becomes second nature. When the unthinkable happens, you need to react with confidence, not fumbling with a weapon you barely know how to use. We're on the brink of witnessing an unprecedented movement of people. Not in the thousands or even tens of thousands, but in the hundreds of thousands. Imagine immense throngs of desperate individuals pouring out of the cities. Their sheer numbers will overwhelm any sense of security you might have in your rural or suburban sanctuaries. If you believe that living outside the city shields you from this impending chaos, think again. Whether you reside in the serene suburbs or the quiet countryside, you are not insulated from the surge of humanity that will inevitably seek refuge in less populated areas. Consider the grim reality. The food supply in urban centers will be the first to deplete driving these vast hordes to scour every corner for sustenance. They will head straight to a house near you, and this isn't a distant possibility, it's a looming certainty. You must be ready for this invasion, ready for the desperate masses who will stop at nothing to feed their families. Picture thousands of people, not just a few, pounding on your door demanding food. Your firearms won't save you against a relentless crowd. This isn't just about being armed, it's about strategic preparation. Hide your food in multiple locations. Make your home appear already ransacked, and prepare for what will seem like an apocalyptic scenario straight out of The Walking Dead. Such massive crowds, driven by hunger and desperation, have been documented in every major crisis throughout history, and this will be no different. Even in the absence of a catastrophic event, fires are a constant threat. We take precautions like installing smoke alarms and keeping fire extinguishers on hand. But imagine a world where there are no fire services available, where the hydrants run dry, and you are left to fend off the flames alone. In such a scenario, your choices narrow down to a dire fight-or-flight decision. Do you battle the blaze with limited resources, or do you evacuate, potentially leaving everything behind to the mercy of the fire? When I was a teenager, a wildfire swept through our area. Our local fire department was overwhelmed, and we had to make quick decisions about what to save and when to evacuate. The fire came within a mile of our home, and we were lucky to escape unharmed. That experience taught me the importance of having a plan and being prepared for a fire emergency. Gas leaks are an insidious and deadly danger. Natural gas leaks can lead to catastrophic explosions, reducing entire houses to rubble in an instant. The statistics are alarming. There are approximately 286 gas leak incidents annually in the U.S., many resulting in devastating explosions. In a crisis, when infrastructure is compromised, these incidents could increase exponentially. An inexpensive gas leak detector can be a lifesaver alerting you to the invisible threat of a gas leak before it turns your home into a death trap. If you detect a leak, evacuate immediately. The explosion risk is too great to ignore, and you don't want to be inside when it happens. Water is the lifeblood of existence. Without it, survival is impossible. You need to stockpile as much water as humanly possible ahead of time. When systems collapse and chaos ensues, your immediate action should be to fill up every available container. Fill your bathtubs, sinks, and any jugs or containers you can find. You must accumulate as much water as possible in those final moments before it all goes dark. A water filtration device is not just a luxury, it's an absolute necessity. If you're fortunate enough to have a stream or creek nearby, you're in luck. But that's not the case for most of us. Ensure you have a reliable water filter on hand. Many people don't realize that grocery stores operate on a just-in-time inventory system. They keep minimal stock in the back to avoid spoilage, relying on daily deliveries to keep shelves full. In the digital age, this system works efficiently, but it's a fragile step. In the event of a catastrophe, grocery stores will be emptied within mere hours, if not minutes. Think about it. If regular shopping can deplete stock in three days, imagine the chaos when disaster strikes. Panic buying will strip shelves bare almost instantly. That's why it's imperative to stockpile non-perishable food items now. Canned goods are excellent, but also consider food that requires little to no preparation, like freeze-dried meats. 
Cooking in the face of such crises brings its own set of challenges. Even if you have a fuel source, the act of cooking releases aromas that can attract unwanted attention. Hungry, desperate people will be drawn to the smell of food like moths to a flame, putting you and your family at significant risk. It's best to have foods that can be eaten without cooking or that produce minimal scent when prepared. As we brace for these imminent disruptions, consider the stark realities. Statistics show that approximately 13% of Americans are already food insecure, and that's under normal conditions. Imagine the strain when supply chains break down. Our water infrastructure is equally fragile. Reports indicate that up to 63 million Americans were exposed to unsafe drinking water in the past decade alone. These numbers will only grow as systems fail and desperation sets in. When I was a kid, my grandparents used to tell me stories about the Great Depression. They talked about how neighbors had to share food and resources to get by because stores were often empty. Those stories always seemed so distant and surreal, but the lessons they imparted about preparation and community resilience are more relevant than ever. The equation is simple. No power means no gasoline. But even if the power remains, mass evacuations will rapidly deplete gas supplies. The American Automobile Association, or AAA, estimates that gas stations can run dry within hours during major evacuation. To prepare, you need to stockpile gasoline. Calculate how much you'll need to escape the city, then double it. Traffic jams will turn highways into parking lots, your fuel gauge steadily dropping as you inch forward. Having extra gas isn't just a good idea, it's essential for survival. And remember, in the chaos, some cars will run out of fuel, blocking roads and compounding the crisis. Here's a crucial tip. Keep a siphon pump on hand. If the power grid fails and gas stations are inoperable, a siphon pump can be your lifeline. You might find abandoned vehicles with fuel still in their tanks. This isn't just about theft, it's about survival. If society collapses and you're fleeing with your family, accessing that fuel could be the difference between life and death. You can always settle the bill with the gas station later, but in a crisis, survival is paramount. As societal structures crumble, the psychological toll will be profound. The American Psychological Association has shown that stress and trauma from catastrophic events can lead to a surge in mental health issues, such as anxiety, depression, and post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD. Without the availability of mental health services, Managing these conditions will fall on individuals and their families. It's critical to understand that maintaining mental resilience is just as vital as securing physical necessities. Develop routines to keep a sense of normalcy. Engage in mindfulness or meditation practices and create a support network among your immediate community. If possible, stock up on essential mental health medications and educate yourself on their management, including safe dosages and potential side effects. When systems break down, economies can quickly follow suit. The collapse of financial institutions would render cash and credit cards useless, leading to a barter system or the use of precious metals as currency. To prepare for this, it's prudent to diversify your assets now, including holding some wealth in tangible, tradable forms such as gold or silver. Secure a supply of essential items that could be used for barter, such as medical supplies, fuel, and non-perishable food. Learn the basics of economic self-sufficiency, including gardening, livestock management, and home-based trade skills. Remember, in the face of financial collapse, community cooperation will be crucial. Building relationships and establishing trust within your local community now can provide a foundation for mutual support and resource sharing when traditional economic structures fail. In a full-scale crisis, your home might not be the safest place to stay. Natural disasters, fires, or even societal collapse can make your current shelter unlivable. According to the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, having an emergency shelter plan is crucial. This could mean identifying a safe location to evacuate to, such as a family member's home in a rural area, or even setting up a portable shelter if you need to move quickly. Consider investing in high-quality portable shelters like tents or emergency bivouac sacks that are designed to withstand extreme weather conditions. Ensure these shelters are part of your go bag. A backpack packed with essential items ready to grab in a hurry. This bag should also include basic survival gear, such as sleeping bags, a portable stove, 
waterproof matches, and a compact cooking set. In addition, learn the basics of shelter construction using available materials in the wild. Skills such as building a lean-to or a debris hut can be life-saving if you find yourself without traditional shelter options. Equip yourself with knowledge and tools for improvisation, ensuring you can create a safe haven no matter where you end up. Preparing for any disaster involves making sure you have things you'll need, things you might not survive without. If you're wondering what these might be, click the video on screen now as we reveal the 17 items you can't survive without in a disaster.